Hi everybody, welcome to Vijasa Foundation. My name is Manoj Swaminathan and today I am going to explain the difference between a pharma equivalence audit and a pharma equivalence inspection. Very often you would find people using these terms interchangeably, that is audit and inspection. Please remember that these two terms are different and should not be used synonymously. Let's start off by learning about the ISO 9000 definition. The ISO 9000 definition of audit is the systematic, independent and documented process for obtaining objective evidence and evaluating it objectively to determine the extent to which audit criteria are fulfilled. However, an inspection is the determination of conformity to specified requirements. So you can appreciate that the definition of audit and inspection is different. Now who conducts an audit or an inspection? Right? A regulatory agency conducts an inspection, say MHRA, US FDA. So these agencies, if they conduct, then it is inspection. However, if somebody from within the company undertakes, then it is audit. Or if the company appoints an external contractor, it is again, again it is audit. Right? So please remember that if it's a regulatory agency, then it is always inspection. And if it is somebody internally or an external contractor, then it is going to be audit. Do versus check. So in case of inspection, we check the compliance while an audit is done. Okay, So there is a lot of difference between do versus check. So in inspection, only the compliance is checked. However, an audit is undertaken or done. So there is a difference. It is doer versus checker. Inspector is a checker. Okay, And an audit is somebody does an audit. Confidentiality of the outcome. If you are, uh, say, inspected by the FDA or the MHRA, there is a remote chance that the report may be made public. However, they would ensure that they would uh, not disclose the company name. Or at times, they would even disclose the company but name, but they would, they would redact the uh, product names. So that is also a possibility. So in case of audit, it is absolutely internal. Okay, The company representative uh, conducts the audit and uh, at times you can have an external uh, auditor. But in these cases, the audit report is not going to be made public. right? You would not find that on the social media that, okay, this is the audit report. However, in case of inspection, at times, the report may be made public. So that's something which you should remember. On the US FDA website, you can find uh, information about the inspections, the inspection report, the redacted ones, you can find them. However, if the company undertakes any audit, the report is always internal to the company. Okay. The focus is different in case of audit and inspection. So it is what versus why. So in case of inspection, it is going to be what. And in case of audit, it is going to be why. That in case of inspection, the auditor will find what are the gaps. right? So what are the problems with the system? Or what are the non-compliances? However, in case of audit, one tries to find out why things are going wrong. right? A root cause analysis. And how can we prevent them? Or how can we sort them so that we are ready for an inspection? So uh, it's generally that the audit may come before inspection. So once you clear an audit and uh, you sort out all the problems, then you may be ready for an inspection. The outcome may be or will be different for an audit and an inspection. In case of inspection, the outcome will be actions. Right? the regulatory actions. However, in case of audit, 
it will be a recommendation because you can now make changes right so somebody would recommend that you do so and so changes or uh, you follow so and so processes why because you want to ultimately clear an inspection right so in case of inspection the outcome is action however in case of audit the outcome is recommendation the external auditor or the internal auditor would recommend that uh, so many changes can be done why ultimately uh, the company's motive is to clear the next inspection right or to be inspection ready at all times so what is targeted right so is an inspection targeted or is an audit targeted so please remember that uh, inspections are always or very likely to be targeted okay wherein uh, uh, audits are more likely to be routine so that's something uh, you should remember uh, sometimes it is possible that uh, the agency comes across some important uh, safety issue in the company and they, they may conduct a targeted audit how a targeted inspection however in case of the company the company may have uh, say an audit calendar in place a routine audit calendar and they would uh, fix up okay in the quarter 1 so and so parameters will be evaluated quarter 2 so many uh, parameters will be evaluated so like that it may be different okay so sometimes even audits can be targeted so that is also a possibility wherein uh, you have an inspection announced and uh, you don't want to falter in that inspection so what you do you quickly get hold of some auditor and you ask them to look into various uh, say processes and then uh, you can fill in the gaps and then be ready for an inspection so internal or external right so which is what right so an inspection is always external right however audit may be internal or external so you can have internal audit or you can have an external audit internal audit is where somebody from within the company undertakes it however in case of uh, external audit uh, the company may appoint some kind of an external auditor right so please remember that inspections are always external okay announcement so inspections may be announced or unannounced right so fda generally walks in right so it is always unannounced where you wouldn't know whether you are going to be inspected the fda walks in and you get a call from the reception that uh, the fda is here and they want to look into our pharmacovalence systems so uh, it is quite possible and nowadays many other regulatory agencies are also Uh, evaluating unannounced inspections so that's something uh, you should always remember that you should be inspection ready at all times that's the only way to succeed right however in case of audit as well there can be unannounced audit where the management uh, wants to give a surprise to the pharmacovalence department and they would appoint somebody and uh, this person would undertake a surprise audit so that is also a possibility so announcement may or may not happen in the past what used to happen is uh, all inspections used to be announced why if the fda wants to visit a company then they would need to the personnel need to have the visa and all ready and for that they would announce in advance and the company would issue a letter and then they would coordinate with the embassy and get the visa issued but nowadays it's not like that so the inspectors would uh, say visit a particular city and they would look at which all companies are uh, located here and they would randomly select or pick some pharmaceutical companies and audit them so that way it's quite different nowadays so what did we learn we learned the difference between audit and inspection so next time i'm sure you are not going to use these terms interchangeably you know what is an audit and you also know what is an inspection audits are conducted internally or by an external contractor however inspections are always conducted by the regulatory agency so that's something which you you would always remember right
So there is clear difference between an audit and an inspection. I trust you found this useful and uh, I mean the session, you found this session to be useful. Uh, please remember that uh, you would never ever use these terms interchangeably. So inspections will always be for regulatory agencies and audit will always be for the internal audits or something which is done by an external contractor. So please remember. Uh, feel free to reach out to us for any questions, comments or suggestions. All the best. Thank you.